that's where we're going. Is that got some THC in it, or is it just normal? <laughs> no, it's just normal. Uh, Hello? He does oh, want shit. lung disease. Yeah, yeah you know, Hello. like 80 people in the States have died of that recently. It's being banned yeah, all over the that. States. New York State banned it. Why don't we start this podcast on a positive yeah. note? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, can I have a drag? <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. Mm. And the, the, they've actually pulled the bands, by the way. He's gonna but you know that a lot more people die of cigarettes every day, probably. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. You know I'm keeping this all in. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> On that note, back in your lives, in your ears and in your face, welcome to another episode of Papa G's House. Yeah. I've got my first return band, which is pretty cool. What's up? Half Price wanted to come back again. Well, I asked them to come back again, but they wanted to at the same time. We do want to. <laughs> <laughs> Got wanted Marcus. to check out your new lineup in your studio here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, last night, um, last night, last time it wasn't as comfortable there. No, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had you guys on very flimsy chairs, and uh, I think we were sitting like in a little huddle over here. <laughs> it was close, intimate. Yeah. Like it was fun. Shows. Two and a half hours of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two, it was two hours and six minutes. Holy shit. You said it like uh, that's a problem. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, well, we were talking off air uh, that uh, Mark was, he was like, I was like, we're not going to go through the whole um, your yeah. existence. No, no. <laughs> no, but some people might uh, not know what's going on. So we got to start again. But we have Marcus, we've got Kyle, we've got Pete, and we've got Granny J there just helping us out there. Yes. How are you, brother? Yeah, oh, no good. Eh? Oh, no good. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it, Pete? How's it, Pete? <laughs> yeah, no, the surf's been cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing that you're in two places at one time because West Coast Wolves are playing at Aces in Space tonight. I like your teleportation exactly. Teleportation, I love it. Dudes, good welcome you. back. Yeah, thank it's, you. Yeah. Um, it's super cool to have uh, you guys come back and it's been. Uh, a year at what last time was July. end of July yeah yeah July 2018 2018 so it's like a year and a few months yeah and you guys have been so fucking busy we have um you know towards the end of last year we did the split album with the live at midnight and then we did the tour um and then yeah like quite a few shows Throughout the year, but yeah, it's been good. It's always nice to keep. It's been busy. a great year. Yeah, yeah. it really has yeah. been. All that you mentioned, that all. Wow. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> first, so hard it hurts with the live at midnight. Yeah, really cool. Uh, 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 great response. Yeah, look, I mean, it's it, it, the whole process was really cool. Um, deciding to do a track together um, and having a mix of the two bands recording it. Recording at the same studio it was also a good move. Yeah. Um, at Cloud. Uh, at Dean Bailey, yeah, Cloud, Cloud Studios. Yeah, Cloud Studios. Um, really happy with the product as well. The uh, album sounds amazing. It looks it great, doesn't it? Sounds yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my own personal copy, but. Um, but that video as well was just like yeah, next look, level. Yeah, look, I mean, it was it was it was cool to get like you know capture that because we don't do that too often, but. Yeah, it's nice to do split albums. Yeah, Gavin did a great job with that video, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when when, when was the last time uh, a South African band did any sort of uh, um, split album with another band? I mean, I can't I can't remember. It seems to be quite any, popular really. at the moment. Rambling Bones did one with the. Oh Shabs yes, as yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. that's true. That um, yeah. I remember. Yeah, John Shaban was on here, mm. and they did one with the Rambling Bones. Yeah. Actually, that's true. So I, I but that's also in the punk like folk. Kind yeah, of I, situation, I, you know. I remember years ago, Fuzzy Gish did a split album with Friends of Rom from Australia. Yeah, that was like wow. 2003 or yeah. 2004. Yeah, I think that's probably where the idea stemmed from. You know. Okay. Um, also, it's it's nice to be able to give people a full album, but like have a, a, quite a variance and mix. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's so crazy. Know, Sorry, what carry on? What you're saying? No, I was just saying. So East Band focuses on about six or seven songs. And then you bring it together with one sort of communal song. Yeah. Um, no, no, it was good. It was, and look again, like any. Uh, doing like that song experience. together was a great idea. Yeah, dude, it was, it was we, so we, cool. We, did you enjoy the, that song, Pete? 
Pete, what do you think? Yeah, I sang a few verses there. <laughs> 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 it's a solid song. Do you, you like know? it when I do you like it when me and Ollie play the bass at the together? On yeah, the you stage? guys should definitely do it more often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like top agree, notch. <laughs> Jared, wasn't um, Charles in that video with Luella? Very possibly, actually. I can't... They were in the audience? Oh, no, he was. Yes, yeah, he was, yeah, was in yeah. the video. No, I, I saw him yeah, the other day, and he definitely confirmed he was. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you can't even remember. Well, I wasn't sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah man, that, that it just looked like so much fun. It's, um, but what, what I was going to say is that last year we were talking about you guys being 17 years in the game and you were doing the still playing punk um, video. Yeah. And then you just, you had actually, on your episode, you guys had actually released Let Me Play, an unfinished version of So Hard It Yeah, Hurts. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, and then um, when Alive at Midnight Pete. came on, Pete, when Alive at Midnight <laughs> came on, um, <laughs> They played the finished version. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was epic. But then what I was saying was as we chat, what are you laughing at? Dude? I'm, I'm laughing, laughing at, at Pete. <laughs> <laughs> He's superimpose him. Pete, what's so funny, dude? Oh no, bro, what the fuck? What's going on? I, I'm just tired, dude. Works yeah. a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've got another uh, kid on the way. You just you just hang in there, buddy. Interview. Hang in there. Hang in I'll, there. I'll be fine. Um, but what we were saying earlier is that, you know, we've been you've been doing this for so long, and then this could be possibly be one of your busiest years and like most active years. It's certainly been probably <laughs> at least in the last decade, I rate so. Yeah. I think since 2010, I think this is probably the busiest year that we've had. Yeah. Yeah. What what, what I was saying to you earlier was that. Um, if there's any sort of like poster, I'm more more than likely to see half price's name on it. I mean, that's just how you know how I perceive things. Like if I'm scrolling down, there's a poster, and then boom, half price is on the build. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. You guys are just and and they big shows as well. Yeah, look, I think we we've been quite fortunate over the last few years getting getting on the bills for some really decent shows, some international acts or touring bands or what have you but it's um yeah i mean it's nice i mean we you know we can't we can't we can't complain about it yeah um at the same time we also keep doing our own stuff we've always yeah. been quite a diy band you know sure um, do our own thing so i think uh currently we've got this the mighty scar punk mighty, the mighty scar punk tools yeah let me right. actually while you talk about it, i'm gonna pull it up quickly so yeah. i can get some so I th I'll hand it over to the big shoots next to me. Yeah, so big shoot, let's go. So we, uh, <laughs> go big shooter. Yeah. yeah. We sat down somewhere last year when we were recording um, So Hot It Hurts. Yeah. So um, Lee came into the studio and did a, Lee and Ross came into the studio and they did some songs, that, well, some horns for some of our songs and we had a chat and Lee had the idea, why don't we at some stage do a show with a half press show with like a horn section and then it kind of developed out of this yeah. so we got lee involved he wrote us some horn lines and sweet dude so we're gonna do a half press set with a horn section and then we had this other idea in parallel to play a cover set and then we kind of merged this and now we're playing like a 20 song set 10 songs half press 10 songs ska punk covers like the classics sure that's awesome man eh? um mm. and where did where was the idea born out of so, I don't know, who came up? Pete, did you come up with the cover set? Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> no, 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 Pete, yeah, Pete, Pete did, that's one, Pete. Um, <laughs> did, 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 did come up with, you know, just to try and, you know, do something different while still retaining, like, you know, kind of what we do. Yeah. The cover set made perfect sense. Mm. Um especially from the sort of area where we, what stemmed this band's creation and going through. And, you know, like, I mean, we, we've not only done the scar, but amalgamating the brass section with the scar kind of side of what's influenced us made perfect sense Yeah, as well, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's look, I mean, it's been a bit challenging. You know, some of the songs, um, you know, uh, we've had to, you know, really get down. Um 
doing the death get down of pop. again get down <laughs> get down again doing the death of pop show was really good because they like the sort of brief was to do obviously the death of pop you got to do at least three covers and out of those three covers one had to be and um a local cover a local cover so we did we ah, did uh, that was on the 7th of, uh, of, of september, september right yeah, yeah. okay yeah, so we gave it a little teaser so what were your three basically. songs well we did um despacito um <laughs> and surprisingly <laughs> that, well we've we've mixed the justin bieber version with this other sort of spanish ska punk band okay. version which actually worked out really cool ross's vocals in the were excellent part were yeah. so we're going to be playing that as well ska punk style at all yeah. the shows it's it wow. goes down. okay it's and great then, um we did pete learned spanish just for that song yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pete how did that go down hard huh? No completo. Right. <laughs> no hablo inglés. <laughs> hablo sí. no inglés. Sí. Um, sí. So Just beats then, another word out of you. And then, and then because Ein Lion Zion has been a song that we've covered over the years, we decided to do that as well. And then for the local cover, we did Hog Hoggity Hog's version of Great Heart, which... Which also coincided, obviously, you know, Johnny Clegg's passing. So, sure, I thought that sure. that was a reason to do it. It was just it made sense. And then with and the, it's a we're, banging song. Well, we kind yeah, of thought no, we can pay a geez. tribute to two South I'm African legends. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and awesome. and then and and it just I mean like the whole puzzle Ooh. came together because yeah. we were doing, you know, the scar songs with Lee from the Hogs and Ross from the Hogs. So it, you know, the all pieces all just fitted together. And we just really wanted this. We didn't want it to be a once-off show. Yeah. So we found the death of pop and and this one coming up. So we thought let's let's take it further. So mm. we've got next week at the 12th, Brass Bell. At the Brass Bell. Twelfth of uh, yeah. October. Twelfth of with a really October. banging with uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, a, with a really banging lineup. You yeah. Know, um, got the face of pages. Yeah. Well, let's 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 talk about that quickly because that's the next show in line. Yeah. And that's going to be this weekend if, we, you know, when people are watching it. Mm. We're recording on a Friday. This is the most fun it's podcast ever so far. <laughs> Friday. It's Friday. Friday. Yeah. Pete, and then how do you feel Saturday. about Friday? According to my spreadsheets, everything is tip top. Ah. <laughs> spreadsheet Pete. No, that's, that's spreadsheet a, Pete. That's eh? a real thing. <laughs> okay. You should see tell, the tell me, punk spreadsheet. <laughs> tell me about it. Spreadsheet Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's this one spreadsheet. Th there's this incredible program called Excel. Excel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And man, it just unlocks so much. <laughs> Basically, when you My band man, loves it. <laughs> oh, I want to show you the, the, the spreadsheet that Pete put together for the Scar Punk show. I'm going to pull it out quickly. Here just give go. me a second here. So, The Mighty Scar Punk Joel Volume 2. Volume 2. So, Volume 1 was at the Death of Pops. So yes. Volume yeah. 2 is. And, and at each show, we're kind of incrementing and adding more songs just due to timeline okay. and members' availability, okay. really. But I really dig this whole Brass Bell thing, man. It's like one of the best places for me. Like, if you're going to be a patron, going to go eat some pizza, have some prawns, <laughs> or whatever the... <laughs> and watch some is, ska you know, punk. It's my birthday, so I'm going to be there, and yeah. I'm going to get a whole bunch of people. I'm going to smash my face full of pizza, and then I'm going to drink beer. And Dude, have a big jaw. <laughs> but I'm just looking at this now. This is like the first time I've, I've seen this. This is amazing. Half Price, Nomadic Orchestra, Light Patrulli, Crossfire, <laughs> and um, <laughs> Endless Summer. I don't actually know who Endless Summer is. Endless Summer it's is uh, Amos from uh, Hogs, his new band. Okay, they do like sweet. surf rock sort of thing. Right. Yeah. right. I haven't seen them yet. I'm looking forward to watching them. So. Wicked. It's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think... Um, the last show we played at Brass Bell was when we did the split album with Pete's other band, Alive at Midnight. Um, Pete plays for Alive at Midnight as well? Well, that Pete, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I play the banjo. <laughs> um, I play in the band, yo. <laughs> yeah, I play in the band, yo. Um, it's just nice to go to the Deep South. We've had like... Deep South? Really, well, like Cork Bay side. Yeah. yeah, out that side. I mean, we played the Log Jam... Um, after party as well. When was that last, last year? year? Um, it's really cool. Like, it's actually like you know, um, it's just really fun to play on that side. Yeah. Um, we played there, but before, but that's when they stopped having live bands. Also, I think my snare drum was heard all the way through to like Glen Ken. But like, <laughs> you know, um, 
it's just it's nice is the, the 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 scenery is good you know if you can get decent sun there which we will have you know the you know it's just it's it's a good experience they, they're more susceptible to enjoying the 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 punk and ska kind of vibe as yeah. opposed to any other sort of like yeah. i mean uh blues i can imagine because they do a lot of like that stuff uh, yeah. like uh palana and all that kind of jazz mm-hmm. but it's oh, man i just wish you know maybe ill system should strip it down hey what do you think i think totally yeah you guys strip it good. down play some like um Acoustic, like with the bongos, and it will go down so well. I reckon. I reckon. You know, yeah, you got to, you know, nowadays. So I'm just just, go support your system. Subscribe. (laughs) Selfless promotion over there. Come and play with the West Coast Wolves. (laughs) Don't hate it, brother. Don't hate it, brother, for that. I think, you know, these days you got to actually be quite creative with. You know, or forceful, like me, I just was. Yeah, Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to look, I mean, if you don't ask for the order, you won't get it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so look, you you got to you got to think a bit outside the box. Um, and if you can, you know, change certain things to make it, you know, to be able to get a whole different kind of crowd, then why not? Yeah, it's one of the reasons why we started playing a bit more with the ska bands and different other bands. Mm. And you know, I think at the beginning we were very. Uh, punk rock political band it was quite thrashy that was quite I thought we're not going to rehash the last 20 years huh? it's 17 <laughs> oh you know, that with, with, that, with that being said with that being said Marcus how did you guys start <laughs> <laughs> and here we go Marcus tw- th- 17 years and you got fucking less than 3 fucking minutes I think I've still got that video when you um Teabagged old Pete, was yeah. it? Yeah. What? Uh, what um, crack of dawn. No, crack of dawn. No, I think he crack of dawn me. It wasn't that way around. Mm. Okay, maybe we should show that again. No. <laughs> Pete, uh, what did you think? I was magical. <laughs> he's, he's still got pink eye at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> 17 years 17 later. Years later. Yeah. 17 years later. <laughs> <laughs> but um, just going back to you quickly to the yeah. the Brass Bell show. So the sort of brief for, I mean, we're doing our split kind of half price songs as well as covers. Um, but the other bands also going to be doing a couple of covers as well, which is going to just add some things. Um, it's going to be a good show for you know? sure. Yeah. So yeah. each band has to do a couple of ska punk songs. I said we said about three. So they they've got some great songs coming up. It's going to be a yeah, good time. Sweet. And between the bands, there's DJ Miss Jackson who's going to play ska punk the whole night oh, as okay. well. So it's going to be nice, rad. Nice. We don't want to give too much away in terms of what songs we're playing. That's kind of like the you got to keep a bit of okay suspense. There. But suspense. you're going to hit Despacito. Yeah, I'm in. Despacito. I'm in. I'm all in, dude. And great heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna. That's so gonna we've given those two away. <laughs> <laughs> those two so one left. Then basically, it's like yeah, we, we're doing. Well, no, no, uh, uh, half hour set. We're doing. Uh, okay, good. So we okay, we're gonna part. do eight covers at this one, and then for the other shows, we're gonna pick it up to ten. I think ten or eleven. Yeah. Or something like that. Like, who's yeah, counting? Yeah, it's becoming quite <laughs> so hard what's actually to, to choose which. <laughs> it's becoming quite hard to choose which songs to actually play because as we're adding more to the set, both on our back catalogue as well as a cover set. Um, so yeah, so I think by the first we'll have most of it done. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah we're also pulling out some half press songs that we haven't played in a decade as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's not yeah. like... It'd be so dick! Yeah, but yeah. I, I'm like... I, isn't it so cool that... I, it's unbelievable that you guys can still, so many years later, get so amped about these shows and then also add like covers to your repertoire yeah. and get excited about it yeah. i mean how much practice time do you guys like have to do to get like, all this stuff done like lately a lot more we used to practice like once a month for the last decade i think yeah but now we've been uh, back to once a week rehearsals again yeah it's how great it feel, well, what's, really, awesome. what's, re- what's really nice about covers is it just you know it lets you kind of work on stuff that you don't either generally do mm-hmm. especially on the, the scar punk stuff i mean i know for me personally, playing in a metal band as well as a punk band, I don't get to do the real kind of reggae infused or kind of, and it's so fun to play, you know. Yeah. I mean? It's really nice to just, you know, play into it. Um, and then just again, working on covers teaches you sort of different attributes. Um, and yeah, look, I mean, it adds it adds to everything, you know what I mean? And it's like actually really fun to just like, not instead of focusing on like, like what 15 songs we're going to play of our own. Let's add the covers into it. Let's mm. let's do it. You know, it's um, 
It's fun. Dude, I mean... It's fun. I, I love the fact that you guys are so uh, passionate about it still. Um, Peter, are you still, like, super passionate about it? Yeah, man, it's the business, dude. Like, <laughs> punk is life and Scar is best. Yeah. <laughs> Scar is best. <laughs> is there any is, kind of um, concept of recording any of these songs, like collabs with other bands, like they'd say Crossfire Collision and um, Nomads and all that kind of stuff, like doing a collab album with these covers? I think you've just given us our next project. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was about to say, like, we, 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 we hadn't thought of that. No, now, that now that you have, yeah, it sounds like a plan. You know, I mean, it's... We need something to do next year. Next year, it's our 20 years. No, it's not. No. <laughs> it's what's it, 20 well, it's 19 years crazy. next year. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. But still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 11 years with the same lineup we've got, huh? Oh, that's I think nuts, that's a man. record, huh? That's insane. <laughs> sure. Well, on that note, dudes, let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and talk some more shit. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. We'll see you now. That's a miserable round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> that's front clapping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. That was very it's prog. A, yeah, it's super prog clapping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back with uh, Half Price. We've got Marcus, we got uh, Carl, we got Pete, and we got Granny J. Um, so, who? Granny J. Granny J. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can, can, you, can you explain that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> good work. <laughs> I, I, I can explain it, but actually, I look like more like the granny hence our granny so one night we we're chilling here and just bring that mic close to you i will yeah. not bring this mic closer to me you're <laughs> you just gonna have to, close you're to you. gonna have to gain it up um <laughs> so one one night we're all chilling here as we always do every weekend and i think they kept they wanted to keep going later on and i was like oh let's just like, chill out and just oh, you know, so take you it easy granny. and then um his girlfriend was like oh okay granny jay and then it's just stuck so yeah. like, oh, cool <clears throat> yeah he likes to be the buzzkill. I try to be the voice of reason, but apparently I'm a granny if I'm the voice you of reason. You realize which band you have sat into. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, know. I know, I know. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. It out. I'm just going to be immortalized. I've, 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 I've been down that road, bro. It's I know. Like, we, we, uh, there we go. <laughs> ah, yes. Marcus takes a drink um, yeah. He's for the first from time. Being a I'm so fucking bubbleless. <laughs> But this Tell is me about it, bro. What did you What did you get up to last night? Um, what didn't I get up to last night? What didn't you? No, yeah. I went to. A, what you did? I went to a friend's uh, farewell party at. It used to be called Blah Blah Bar. Don't ask me what it's called now. <laughs> and then we went to Mercury, and then we went back to Blah Blah Bar, and then we went to the Shack, and I got home at three o'clock this morning. What? Oh, that's early for you. Eh? Congratulations. Well, on a school night. That's uh, like right, early. true. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. That's crazy, man. <laughs> that I mean, I still can't. But I took a uh, took off half the uh, took off half the day, so I knew it was going to be a biggie. So yeah, no, I can imagine. I was oh, wild. Do you know what? <laughs> we went last night to, to uh, Jack Black Brewery in Deep River, and um, there's something about those craft beers that just give you the fattest head the next day. I don't do and craft beers. I must be honest. You don't, eh? Uh, I like it's my too beer punk rock for that. Gassy and bland, gassy and like not too flavorous. Okay, so line <laughs> lager. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically what I got around here. No, like I mean, it's not like I hate craft beers, but I just I hate craft beers. Yeah, okay, I do. I don't hate them. I like them. <laughs> okay, there, there, there's a dis uh, there's a difference. I like. I just find they're not fizzy enough. I find they're too like. They're too yeah. smooth and heavy. Yeah, and fruity. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. too well crafted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. Pete, you shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Pete, we all know you love your craft beer. Yeah, you shut up. <laughs> but yeah. The tribe yeah. has spoken. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 in, in all seriousness, I do not like bottled craft beer. Okay. I I can drink a craft beer from the tap all day. But yes, it gives you a fat head. Eh? Yeah. I, I was I was actually legitimately struggling this morning, <laughs> but um, and then all as well. And then, and then all as well until because you had your next beer. There we go. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I swapped to whiskey. It was much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me, dudes, um, 
you okay so you're doing this i can't wait to actually see uh saturday at brass ball that's going to be flipping cool uh the lineup I've, I've never seen nomadic orchestra before so i'm very excited about that and the fact that they serve pizza oysters fucking anything that you want nomadic orchestra serves pizza <laughs> yes it's on the menu yeah. well, oh, wow. oh. no, but, but multi-talented it, guys super cool I've never seen them, so it's going to be a, a rad day. Pete's going to be there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm playing, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Scar Punk Joel. <laughs> no, no, for sure. Uh, That's my show. But so quickly, let's talk about the tickets and stuff. Where can you get them? Are they pre-orders or do you just do it at the door? So you can get them at the door, definitely. Okay. Um, so they're going to be 100 bucks at the door. But okay. you can get pre-sales if you wanted to get a, a little bit cheaper. I think it's 80 bucks on Cricket. And so yeah, it's like an early verb, early bird vibe. Yeah, okay. so they're going to be Where's on sale, pre sale till the day before the bird show. Bird. Okay. And they're selling quite yeah. fast, actually. Just a little word of advice for anybody going out that side. I think it'll be super cool if you get a whole bunch of friends and. Of a you, shuttle. No, you get on the train. You get on the train, you get up, get off the train, you get all your buddies, you're going to a punk rock show with Scar. <laughs> like vibes and then you get on the the uh, train with all your buddies you're drinking out of your little hip flasks and all that kind of jazz and then you get to the show and then you do your thing it's going to be a difficult to back. do that with a bass amp and a bass guitar <laughs> no I'm not talking about you you guys have to drive and all your gear it's your show <laughs> what we've done give a shit about what, what that. We've done <laughs> but I love the idea yeah 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 so <laughs> I'm just saying for anybody who would want to attend the show think about parking your car closest to your station and getting on getting uh on on the train uh, uh, how about you catch an uber to the train station because you're gonna get hammered out there that's a good that's Which a good point thinking. that's a good point yeah that's why we keep yeah. him around she's that he's married now he's, <laughs> yeah. he's yeah. thinking responsibly it's not the dfg no more <laughs> come well, on he is actually. yeah no, <laughs> he is. i was yes. gonna say ask my wife <laughs> 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 That's amazing. We used okay. to, we used to um, when we play down in Stellenbosch or slightly out, we organize a sort of shuttle service. Um, not doing that for next week, Saturday, but, you know, if there's a demand, if people want to rather just go in a shuttle service with the band to a gig that's yeah. far out there. I'm planning on staying in a backpackers out there. There's no ways I'm driving back to Milnerton after that show. Okay, so you planning to go ham, bro. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I'm Pete, <laughs> you staying in Cork Bay that night? No, no, Pete's not no, 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 the driver. No, no, no. I, I've got to go home. I got responsibilities. Okay, I, no. I've, I've got a schedule. And yeah, spreadsheets. But, but, yeah. <laughs> but this, this be perfectly honest. You are. You're gonna drive me home. See. <laughs> now all of a sudden he speaks Spanish. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah. uh, yes. Yeah. He'll have to okay. put it on the spreadsheet first, yeah. and then. We gotta confirm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google Drive. <laughs> 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 then the next guys, the next show you've got is on the seventh of on the sixth of December in Sundowners. We've actually got one before that. Yeah, we're playing. Uh, oh no no, first uh, of November at Mercury. Sorry, yeah. sorry, first sorry. First of November at Mercury. Yes, oh, that's gonna be cool though. That's gonna. So, who's playing? PH Fat. Yeah. And someone else, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not confirmed yet. Okay. So okay. Mercury's putting that show together. It's going to be an epic one. It's a Halloween show. It's going to be great. Yeah. I um, think that's epic that you got PH Fat to come jam. It's like, a, I love the fact that you get that like, whole cross genre situation where you got him like rapping with those deep beats. Mm. Like, mm. Um, do you, did the, does he still do that song? Animals, animals, we love animals. I know but, that was very back in the day when there were three of them. I literally but. haven't seen PH Fat in about four years now. Oh, so wow. Okay. It's going to be quite cool watching him again. Okay, I yeah, think the last time I saw PH Fat, he didn't do that song. But now, is he also going to do Scar Covers? Well, I doubt no. that. Because, no. I mean, I mean, Mike comes from a fat punk background oh, as well. Yeah, so Mike, Mike pun intended. Too. Oh, haha. Ha. Um, <laughs> but she grew, uh, grew up like a couple of streets apart from each other he, in Hot Bay. Yeah. So, I mean, he, I, I, if you actually put it to him, I, I wouldn't see him not doing it because mm. he's definitely from that background as well. So, yeah. it's possible. 
Yeah, come on. He's full of great ideas. Yeah, I know this guy. Thanks, Granny. Yeah, Why, yeah exactly. <laughs> Why do you think I partnered up with the guy, man? He's full of knowledge, bro. Actually, yeah, we should actually really explore that. Actually, yeah. while we at it, bro, yeah. tell me your your f- most your favorite half price story. Oh, jeez, there's so many. <laughs> um, many, I know. So many. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the best story. And Pete, don't look so bored there, bro. Please. Yeah, yeah, Pete, please. Um, I think the best story that will stick out in my memory forever is the, I think it may have been one of the first times I actually got to meet Pete properly. Hey, Pete. Um, <laughs> and we were in, I think it may have been a hog show or something somewhere, and Pete, was, we were in the mosh pit, and he came running up. I don't know. I think he was running up to everyone, but I was one of those people and came running up, and he was missing his two front teeth because if people don't know, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but whatever. So he's got false teeth and he lost them in the mosh pit. So he all of a sudden he had this big gap and he's going, where's my teeth? Where's my teeth? Do you have to see my teeth? <laughs> so I was and like, Mike like with that me. was totally the, like one of the best intros I ever got to see him. And like, then obviously we just got to know each other after that, which was great. That's awesome. Pichy, now would be the perfect time to tell him about the Megabond story. <laughs> remember Megabond Megabond you still got that I know you still got it he sends me the photo from <laughs> so he been into a role on tour in Germany and <laughs> the tooth just got stuck in the roll it just broke off so oh, he went wow. to the closest hardware store and he bought this <laughs> super glue called Megabond <laughs> And he wanted to glue his teeth back together. Everyone's saying, no, don't do that. <laughs> but but like the whole, alone, like it's least. like the weirdest coincidence ever. Like the other band we were on tour with, yeah. we played in their hometown literally the next day, or that day when he bit into the roll that evening. <laughs> and one of the guy's best mates is a dental technician. <laughs> so it's like... So we basically then went, before the gig, went to his dental studio. He fixed up Pete's teeth. <laughs> And, and he, the payment was a free entrance to the gig and a t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. But Megabond will forever. But the Megabond the is still around. You should write a song called Megabond, man. That's amazing. Seven years later, the Megabond is still lying in his house. <laughs> Seven years. 2013. My math isn't that great. Uh, six She's, years ago. Yeah, six, six years, years ago, man. Damn. That's crazy. But... Um, Okay, so you, you're doing the, the 1st of November at Mercury and then you, you got volume four. I like the way you guys going in volume. Like you're taking like the whole 90 stance. Idea. Very cool. I like that. Well, oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's my pleasure. It's quite, <laughs> quite impressive for a drummer. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Sometimes we have ideas. Yeah. Dude, that's, yes. don't, it, it, takes the, it, it gives you the nostalgia feeling, you know? Yeah. There's like... Well, There's just, levels uh, to the shit. Yeah, yeah. We just, as we, like, again, it goes back to we didn't want it to be a once off. So we decided to do the volumes. And yeah, we definitely wanted to take this up country to Joburg. So. Okay. And Durban. And Durban. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, well, let's let's talk about the 6th and the 7th. Oh, the 6th, um, firstly. Oh, okay, because you're doing a return show at Mercury on the 13th of December, which is also, I think, that totally makes sense. But. Um, uh, I don't know if I should say this. Sorry. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Let's, talk about, let's talk about volume six and yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk, let's talk about um, <laughs> who, who are you guys playing uh, with in, uh, at Sundowners? So, I know what you're trying to get at. Let's, let's talk about it when we get to the end there, yeah. Because I understand I what you... you I know exactly what you want to talk you, about, yeah. So, yeah. CK so, my vibe. No, oh, no. <laughs> so, um, so where was it? Yeah, it's, it's volume six. Uh, Sundown is in Joburg. So we're going up to Joburg. Who the hell are we playing with? I don't know. Because it's not... We are playing. We're the main attraction. <laughs> I, I, think, I think it'll be totally fun. Mike, if you're watching this from Brochella, I think you need to put... I believe in Giants next to Half Price in the same show. That'll be so sick. That'll be rad. Do you guys know I believe in Giants? Okay, I will, no. I'll show you their, their repertoire. Okay, I, cool. Um, I keep on saying repertoire because um, the new Ill System song has that name in it, and uh, that word in it, and it's 
driving me insane. Uh, every every word is a repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> nice sneaky plug. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say that's the second time, man. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like share subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for sure. Um, I think it's a cool word. Um, shout out Sean Olsen. But um, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yes, I'm doing this awesomely. Um, but, Clearly, uh, yeah. <laughs> No. Um, and then your show, because you've got Sundowners, and then you've got um, Probably the Winston, Winston, the Winston Pub next. Yeah. So the Winston we're doing together with um, Roach, what, what's Rochi? What's Rochi and the Rock Coaches? We should really actually have a brief before we come Roche up. And <laughs> <laughs> Roche and the Rock Coaches. Hey, we we, we Roche, knew what Roche. we were going to talk about. Huh? Yeah. Roche, Roche and the Rock Roaches. I also feel Pete, like I'm missing Pete, a, a word Pete, there. Pete knows. It's, it's Rochi and the Rock Coaches. Yeah. Such a good guy. Yeah, he's okay. a great guy. Oh boy. Wicked. Okay. Yeah. Um, What's uh, the name of his band? Rochi and the <laughs> Rock Coaches. Shut your fucking mouth over there. Sure. It's getting hectic <laughs> in this place. Name, right? <laughs> no, he's, um, we've been playing with his old band, Sheep Down. We went on tour with them. And Durban is always epic. It's, it's yeah, always can't, great you to play can't with. Him. It's every, like, time, every time we play there, and those guys are so nice, Paul and, and Roach, and yeah. That's Taren, awesome. Taren, Taren, Taren that's what Taren Villa has always yeah. um, helped us with our shows. Durban is like... It doesn't pay, but it's always worth it anyway. Yeah, well, the thing that I wanted to ask you is that when last were you guys in Joburg? In Joburg? We go about once a year still, yeah, so... Did you play at Joburg last year? Yeah. We played, the last time we were in Joburg was when we did the split album with Love and Midnight. We did um, Joburg as well as... Soweto, they got cancelled because of... Why was it cancelled? I had swine flu. So I did, like... That's not a joke. I actually had swine flu. <laughs> yeah. And the place blew some of the gear as well. Yeah. yeah it was, that, was, like that was still a lot of fun, though. That was cool. Yeah, that was... We, 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 we played Bloom, then Durban, and then Joburg, and then Sweden. We went to come back down to Cape Town. Okay. So this is the last year... Played in Joburg to answer your question. Okay, okay. And then, and then, then Durban, when was the last time you guys played in Durban? Same tour. Last, last same okay, tour. okay. Yeah, that was a split. Oh, geez, I clearly <laughs> haven't done my fucking research, right? Uh, um, that was a okay. Well, <laughs> okay, forget all that. What were you going to say about the return show at Mercury? The that clearly struck a nerve. <laughs> well, right. well, it isn't confirmed to be at the Mercury. So on the fly, as you see, it says TBD. So we're yeah. still busy. Uh, yeah. It might be somewhere okay. else. Okay. But we'll okay. see about we're that. We're exploring all options. Again, we're just trying to make our shows as diverse as possible. Sure, sure. Yeah, because sure. Um, um, playing Mercury a lot, and Mercury's, the, I mean, the greatest live venue in Cape Town. But yeah, yeah. Like three times that quickly in a row might be a bit much. Yeah. No, hundred percent. No, no, I completely. Um, I can relate. But the one well. that is at the Mercury is the 1st of November. Okay. So that's with the PH, PH, PH Fat. fat. Um, and we and waiting, a surprise band. Yeah, we're waiting to hear confirmation for the third band. Okay, sweet. Yeah. More announcements to come, which is cool. Yeah. There's been a lot of changes to the gig, um, but... Yeah. yeah, CKY was meant to come originally. Okay, that's then, yeah, that's what we. But we, we decided to, to go ahead with the show anyway, so what? Mercury is quite ha happy about that. Did they give you so. any sort of reason as to why they cancelled? Look, through the sort of the grapevine, I've heard that uh, one of the members had some family issues or something. Like that, but Jess Margera, maybe. Yeah, uh, his brother is right. like going absolutely mental. Uh, maybe I, I I don't know. I I can't confirm. We haven't been given any sort of. Um, Details. Confirmed yeah. details or anything mm. like that. You've been following that shit, eh? I have. With yeah. Bam. Yes. Uh, Bam so Margera. Bam, Mar Bam Margera. That, oh, well, look, let's move to current events. Yeah. <laughs> Bam Margera. <laughs> Jess, da, da, da. <laughs> um, so CKY's drummer is Jess Margera. Yeah, um, yeah, Bam's brother. Yeah. yeah, and Bam is in a bad way at the moment. I haven't been following. Can you elaborate? Well, basically, he's on a cocktail of drugs that nobody knows uh, <laughs> other than him. And um, he oh, basically has so created his own language. Mm. Oh, shit. And oh, fuck. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that he, fucking spiraled. I think, I think, yeah, I think no, no. Uh, he's on like a drunk concoction of like anyone else. Like, okay, okay, so, cool, I can dig that. <laughs> <laughs> he's invented his own language. Not a fuck. That yeah, so about yeah, that about, about a <laughs> month ago, he went on a rampage on... Uh, Instagram, more so, uh, I'm like, I'm only on Instagram, so I wouldn't know any other social media stuff, but yeah. every 
five or so minutes, he was just posting videos shouting at and hating everyone. And he was saying he wasn't on drugs, but it just seemed like a big drug bender kind of thing. And eventually he was calling out uh, Dr. Full to come help him. And eventually Dr. Dr. Full got Dr. a hold Dr. of him. Like, yeah, like, why, why he was asking Dr. Full, I don't know, but got Dr. Full to help him. We're talking about Dr. Full, not Full on Samo from Pantera. No, no, <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> okay. But yeah, well, so I mean, he eventually... Just yeah, as crazy. Yeah, so eventually he ended up in a... Um, a psych ward or yeah. like uh, a rehab center. And now I just saw actually today that he's had a neck operation with another famous doctor that also did some social media video, YouTube stuff. I don't know. Um, but it seems that he's fine with all his family and all that, but he still seems crazy. I think. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's switch. addicted to social media. He's addicted to the limelight. Yeah. And I think that addiction went into like, Deep, yeah, hectic, it's quite dark addiction. Yeah, yeah, very, very much so. But on a lighter note, <laughs> um, so you're doing all the way up to volume seven. Yeah. Okay, well, David Popper is number one. We've got Brass Ball number two. Mercury Speaking number to the mic, there, Mercury, Mercury number three. <laughs> Joburg number four. Joburg number four. Uh, Durban number five. And the third is number six. Where's this number seven that you're talking of? I don't know. Who does number seven I work I for? I don't do quick maths. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Up okay. to volume six. Okay, six. Nice. Um, six, and then, how about, what, say it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Volume six. <laughs> well, one more time. Volume six. And another time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got it wrong, my one. Sorry. <laughs> um, but, but that's so cool, dudes, that you guys have... Um, and and you guys have got in contact with a whole bunch of other like, for instance, PH Fat. Then you don't know your Durban support crowd. No, it's but um, the thing is uh, they were still busy organizing. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. We'll know in the next couple of weeks. We'll be making some announcement who we're playing. Yeah, so just and, keep keep yeah. an eye out on our Facebook pages. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can just if you just Facebook search Mighty Punk Scarge or whatever, yeah. you'll get most of the gigs. Yeah, but yeah. basically what I was getting at is that the fact that you you actually it doesn't matter who what kind of genre it is and all that kind of stuff you you mm. you are mixing it up. Yeah, you got to look. I mean, again, it's well, yeah. Look, I mean, yes, we are mixing. <laughs> it up. And it's a no, resounding I don't confirmation. Know he's going it. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. Yes, okay. there is. It, it's <laughs> always great to mix the the lineup, you know, and especially with bands that have some sort of commonality here and there. Um, but at the same time, it's small pickings for punk rock in Cape Town. You know, um, you keep got hearing that, but I see the punk scene is uh, like no, 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 strong. No, no, the punk scene in South Africa in Cape strong, Town is cooking. Yeah. It hasn't yeah. been yeah. that strong no, in years. No, no, yeah, but, but there's still only a handful of bands. I, I would like when I first joined Half Price, there were literally like, 10 to 20 punk bands that were getting almost every weekend, mm. you know, there was a lot more. But I'm yeah. Now, now, now you've got... But the quality. You've got, you've got, got, you've got Crossfire. Yes, the quality, don't get me Crossfire, wrong. Crossfire, Loud Patrolli, Alive at Midnight are all world-class bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it's, uh, it's great. Yeah, Loud Patrolli, Alive at Midnight, Crossfire, Collision and Us. Oh. Name 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, and 10. Swatting Bats. Speaking Swat, of... Yeah, swatting Bats. Look, yeah. I, I love Swatting Bats. They, they like, they're just like, they're really good at what they do and it's just they are... The nicest guys you can yeah, meet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, should we should definitely do a gig with them? Yeah, too. when Jethro gets back, we definitely must do something with them. Uh, there. I also must say that I every single he time he went I, to Bayern Munich and watched Bayern fucking thrash whoever they <laughs> seven two or what was it eight two? Somebody help me with the scores here. I don't watch that sport. Uh, you don't watch football. Do, do you know what football. I think? Like because nah. I mean I grew up <laughs> and I had a band in that scene or punk band as well. It's like I think the the problem is is that <laughs> back then. It was high school shows, Weinberg Sports Club, yeah. The Jam, now Mercury. It was, we had so many, and like we created these, show, when I say we, I mean the punk community. And there were just shows left, right and center, where now we basically just down to Mercury yeah. now. And the, the bands one, yeah. are like, it's, it's not what it was. It's yeah. like people can't just go and just go play the Do jam you know? or high school shows or all these things. Well, that's, that's because we're that. close to 40 now. And yeah, we're yeah. 20. No, true, true, <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Uh, other than that, also, look, I mean... Can I, can I stop you there? <laughs> yes, Let's just can. do a little quick uh, refill and then we'll be back. 
We are talking about high school punk. Uh, 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 what, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, no, we, no high school um, uh, Weinberg Sports yeah, Club. Wine, all yeah. Keep that thought. Keep that thought. All right, we're still here with Half Price, Pete, and Granny J. Dudes, it's uh, <laughs> this is this is me going one with of the more piece. fun podcasts I've ever done. Because does everybody feel like a little bit more relaxed that it's a weekend? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I'm still Carl's drink. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. It's so, all part of my grandma's plan that he drinks tonight. There he we started go. off like, no, I was like, can I get you some beer from the bottle store? Because you only finish your work today. No, no, no. I had a rough night last night. No, no, I'm not going to drink this. It's, it's okay. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Me Yo, Marcus, right. you came in a, th- a bit wounded, eh? Yeah. But the DFG never Never fails. disappoints. Yeah, never yeah, disappoints. Sure. Never fails. Tony, I'm very happy I about that. I apologize in advance. No, Marcus is there's nothing to apologize about, bro. Okay, Tanya, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you apologizing to Tanya to? That you are not going home any anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> She's well, in Germany. I remember. Right. <laughs> Tanya, you will never hear this. Right. <laughs> I'm sure she will watch July, this. <laughs> July 2018. You guys came here. And uh, we did the podcast. Two hours and six minutes, I might add. <laughs> and then we proceeded to have a jaw till after 12. Then you two went back. And then I got a message from you because I was waiting for files from you for, for the songs. And you're like, sorry, dude. I was at Marcus or Marcus or one of you guys were to eat each other's place until three in the morning on a, on a school night. Yeah, I think I didn't have to work the next day, if I remember. <laughs> I, I, was, I was at Carl's house till about 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guy, dude. I can't get the files to you right now because I'm... We were just so pumped, bro. Yeah. Well, exactly. I'm so glad. And you know what? I'm so glad that you guys are so pumped now as well. It's my third time here. It's your third time here, you know, dude. I feel like there should be like a name tag on one of these <laughs> <laughs> Special guest right here. Yeah. But you know what? Carl there, there's K- Karen. KFC, Carl fucking Karen. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a reason why you guys are here. It's because you guys are so fucking active. Mm-hmm. I mean... And, and I really think it's super cool that I've got you guys here as my first return because it, 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 the, the first time we were in that little huddle and it was yeah, we still very scrum, fresh man. and we I was a little bit nervous. And so we were also your first duo, I think, because... Yes, yeah, yeah, you were, yeah. you were. We, we and liked I was probably first. your first threesome as well. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, that's, yes. that's also true. And I'm the, like the double dingbat. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at us, we've got one, two, three, four, five people. Um, I just think it's all very apt that we, we we have come together to do this podcast today on a Friday. Yeah. Everybody having a good time. Mm. Half Price is about to embark on a, on a f- well, no, you aren't about to embark. You've already played your first show. Yeah, the first yeah. one was just a yeah. teaser. We only yeah. We only played five. And how did that songs. go? How was it? How was it, was it fun? Ma- it was a lot of fun. Okay, definitely. Sweet. Yeah, I was actually really surprised. Um, the turnout at the Mercury was really good, actually. Yeah? Um, and throughout the whole day, because it started quite early. I mean, there were about what seven bands on the bill. I think it was more than that. Do you remember talking to your mic there, Carl? <laughs> there, were about, <laughs> <laughs> there were about seven, seven or eight uh, bands was, on the bill. It was a bit more. Yeah, it was eight or nine, I think. I don't know. Well, Jeez, what eight or there. nine bands? Well, the idea was you had a twenty-minute set. Okay. And out of the twenty-minute set, you, you could, had to play, you play five songs, so two of your own and three covers. Okay. One of the covers had to be a local, local a local band. Okay. Um, we, I think Despacito was probably the biggest surprise of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it went down like a house on fire. Uh, yeah, it went down like... Oh, duh. Yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> what, uh, what was Des- Despacito on the uh, well, number one for like... It's, it's the most watched YouTube video in the world at the most. What, like how many billion so, views? No. Something like okay. eight, well, something like eight billion this, views. I actually want to see how many views this fucking video has got. I think most people only ridiculous. go there to see how many views there are. Serious. Uh, well, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. Yeah. Jokes. You get no... <laughs> sorry, yeah, so sorry. Despacito. Despacito. <laughs> something, something, something. Mosquito. Despacito. So, um, dudes, 
<laughs> Pete, what do you think? Pete, Pete. what do you think? How's my Spanish, that was, Pete? That was amazing. You should just keep that gusto for the jams. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, si, after... Senor. Oh, <laughs> Pete. After bueno. Your, <laughs> bueno. After your whole tour, what's next? We'll probably knuckle down to write... Some new material. Yeah, we're going to take a bit of a break from gigging for four to six months and start writing some new stuff okay. after that. Yeah. Okay. Pete's, Pete's um, adding to his family. Yeah, so. Ah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, Pete. man. Yeah. yeah. Second child. Yep. Second child. It's, it's exciting. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Pete. Um, yeah. Granny J, is there anything that you want to ask these dudes, right? Uh, off the bat? <laughs> no. Are we talking about a bat like a cricket bat or like a joint bat? Both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My brain's reeling okay. right now, but it comes with you. <laughs> um, no, like okay. nothing uh, off the top of my okay, head. Okay, sorry no. to put you on the, yeah, thanks. On the yeah, spot, thanks, bro. Thank you. Um, but dudes, it's, it's... Pete, anything you want to ask us? <laughs> it's hard being Pete, man. <laughs> he doesn't have his spreadsheet open. He can't like yeah. just respond it's straight away. Not yeah. off the bat. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, 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 <laughs> files are missing. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> you haven't just defragged in a while. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think I suppose if we ending off, if that's what we're doing. I, um, yeah. Next weekend, twelfth at Brass Bell. Yeah. At the Bikini Bar. So, uh, half prize together with the Hogs Horn section and Lex. Yo, yeah, that's going to be next, sweet, man. Um, I'm, uh, I'm celebrating my birthday there, so yes, pull through. Yeah. So your birthday... It's on Wednesday, yeah. Why, why, well, you should have said it's on Saturday, because well, it's that's not. when the gig is. <laughs> well, we'll just pretend. Yeah, okay, birthday. my birthday's on Saturday. Okay. Everybody pull through so the brass bar. If you come dressed like a trombone... <laughs> <laughs> a <Okay>. trombone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you will get free entrance okay. plus four people. Woo! No, I want to support the, the vibes, bro. I'm paying full price, bro. <laughs> also, you don't have to look like a trombone. Full, full price for yeah. half yeah. price. I'm, full, like a trombone, full, I'm playing price. I'm paying full price for half price, bro. Mm. Wait, yeah. I actually got a question. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, I actually heard this rumor I, when you guys first came out that the initial idea of you guys calling yourself half price was that on a flyer... We get people that to come it was it please. was half price alcohol and it was something come uh, half price and the way you worded it was that it sounded that everything was going to be half price. It made it so we thought at the time it would be funny and entice people to come there because they would expect something for half price. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. So, yeah. so like, I heard kind of right. Getting, it was like yeah. an extended yeah, okay. joke that kind of lasted yeah. twenty years. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so I heard right, right there. Definitely yeah. Right now. Now. yeah. yeah. And it's, it's look, it's lasted price, 17 it's years, so it's worked. <laughs> last 17 years is I'm still waiting for that half price, though. I'm <laughs> I think that's awesome, man, because it, it's still, it's actually, it still um, uh, confuses some people. Yeah, totally. I'm, le I'm legit telling you because I've had first hand experience. Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, half price. Okay, sweet. I'll go to Price Bar. Sweet. Yeah. You know, it's half price. Well, a nomadic orchestra for half price. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, so so pizza can... and prawns. <laughs> yeah. With pizza and prawns. Yeah. yeah. But um, anyway, dudes, Marcus and, and Carl, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Oh, sorry about yeah, you. Uh, forgot about you, Pete. It's all good. Um, <laughs> well, he's like basically asleep in the corner. <laughs> hey, you know, it works a nightmare. I got a kid on the way. It's, you know, it's taxing. <laughs> the wave's hard today. The surf is rad. It yeah. takes it out of you. But, yeah. Yeah. Where, where does your surf? The, the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> we, no, but when we were supposed to have you play a banjo solo on the, Yo, on the you play, fiddle yeah. your fingers, fiddle them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd better put a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna look like a tool now. <laughs> you better put a banjo. Um, his editing skills aren't that good. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one. And to some edit soft scrugs sure. in the background. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> Half price. It's so cool, Marcus and Carl, to, to check you guys again. Since I mean, since last year, uh, July to 2019 October, it's pretty cool to to have that kind of break and catch up. 
So in all seriousness, always, it's dude. fucking cool to see you guys. Oh, it's definitely dude, damn good to be back here. So comfortable for us to come here and drink. For your sure, alcohol. man. Yeah, a hundred percent, dude. That's what it's all about. I we really... are pro drinkers of other people's alcohol. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you're gonna, you. Uh, it's your third time. Yes, me. It's um, Pete's second time. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ollie, Pete, Ollie, Pete. And, um, oh, what were you here as Ollie before? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> it burns us. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, uh, Granny J has partnered in with Papa G. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of our own podcasts together. And uh, shot for pulling into to this one, dude. Yeah, bro, I this wouldn't is, have missed you know, this, bro. This uh, has been yeah, epic. for sure. I know you're a big fan of Half Price. Oh. You didn't really want to say it, dude. I remember <laughs> this guy at Weinberg's Sports Club. That guy setting up like the rig and all that. I remember saying to him, "So, dude, like." What would you charge to like set up my drum kit? <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Do you know what you asked it? Yes, absolutely. Oh, my word. <laughs> and you know, back then, if I think about it now, the the price you quoted me back then actually was a fucking deal. Of <laughs> what you, you should have taken it up then. Do you I know what Right now, if you like, it's like probably to the power of 10. Like, you know. <laughs> but like, what money did he want? Like, actually, I would, I'm tech interested money, to know. Bro. Yeah. Tech, Tech I think, money, I think, tech, I think, money, I think money, you quoted me like, look, look, we're going back like almost 10 years now. <laughs> probably longer uh, if you're talking uh, about sports club. You I think, I think you quoted me like, if you bring your gear here and like you get it to the venue and you take it back, I think it was 600 bucks. And I was like, the band that he makes, like, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'll put it in the, dude, actually. This is no, 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 it's the not one thing, profit. The one thing I remember, actually, not the one thing, but many things I remember, um, is actually engineering you guys downstairs Mercury back on, I think it was those Manic Mondays. Yes. And you guys were already, I mean, I don't know why you played a Manic Monday because everyone knew who uh, you were already. We love playing and those Manic Mondays. And you guys flipping rocked up with two stacks Four by 12 stacks, and I'm just going, what the hell are you guys doing? (laughs) Like, I mean, I've literally got a desk that has got eight channels, and I literally just put vocals through on two channels. Can you trigger my kick turn, bro? Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, trigger, (laughs) trigger, (laughs) kick Triggered the kick drum and vocals through two channels just to make sure the vocals came out. And I was like, there's nothing else I can do. There's just two four by 12 you know, stacks. I'm like, Sean no, also no. always used to ask us why you guys want to do those Manic Monday shows. We used to want to do them at least twice a year. Yes. Because yeah, always and I was always there doing, doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because well, it was like meant for new bands, but we still did it every yeah, now and then. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's also, there's also a very good story. I can see we, we're heading towards our time here. No, but not. But, but... We were gonna, we were scheduled to play one of these Manic Mondays, and we've got a song on our band album called Band. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about called... being banned from the jam, which at uh, that time, yeah. from the jam, uh, yeah. and, and at that time, Mercury and Downstairs was two or six, you know, they all came together. Um, and what had happened is we were meant to play this gig and we were all drinking at Rafiki's and we got a call saying, the back line isn't here and the band before you, they know what's going on. We're like, we got asked to play this show. Like, yeah. we, we, we thought like we, we were, thought like we're going to rock up there and play. Like. Yeah, you know, that was the kind of thing. But anyway, and then management at the jam at the time, I said, okay, well, to like kind of like clear the air, you need to play on a Tuesday or a Thursday night and you guarantee us like 200 people going in and we were like fuck that and basically that's how we became banned from the jam which spurred the album banned spurred the European tour banned from the South wow. that's crazy I, I Did you know that? kicked off the Spoon Bird show <laughs> yes yes <laughs> I remember and, and, and look, you know what was so funny is we, we entered the battle of the bands with Simon Folds and, Ooh, yeah. I I know that name yeah. and I don't know and, and then basically like that was a just the band, we, we we played like a couple of gigs and then we got to like the final round and then he phoned me i was busy having like a business dinner and he phoned me and he said like okay cool so you guys are confirmed you're playing at this time at mercury which was the jam at the time um x y and z and i was like okay cool and then he paused and he was like are you gonna tell me why you guys are actually banned from the venue <laughs> So it's like, well, you see, there's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> well, we always were hoping that it would be a he just, said, he just said, he's like, I don't give a fuck. This is my event. You guys have got through the rounds and you've got to do it. And yeah, we ended up 
doing pretty well in the end. So that's that's how Band from Jam, that's how that album got created. People they always know, thought it was it. something crazy, like us getting naked and trashing but, the but place. When, but when, actually, it was just we didn't rock up for soundcheck. Well, how that, long ago yeah. was that? How long ago was that? <laughs> Shit, dude, you well, like, when was that album? It must have been like 2004. 2004 wow. No, but 2005. The album was released in 2006, and that that song was on that album. So about 2005. Yeah. So we're talking like 15 years ago. To, years ago. to be honest, it could actually be the fact that you guys always got naked and there were always people getting naked on your side. I've only been naked for one show in my life and that was in Dortmund in Germany and you weren't there. I wasn't there. But there was always that one guy that always got naked at your shows and stage dived and no one ever caught him because he always fell to the yes, ground because no one's going to catch him. He says Pete, he says Oli, yeah. um, But also, to be, to, to be honest, I 100% remember you guys when that song came out and... I actually thought it had to do more with Mercury and you just kind of were sneaky with calling it the jam, not Mercury. Because yeah. I was, knew there were some issues. It with was actually the, called Mercury. Okay. At that time. And it I just, knew, yeah, so the manage, yeah, too much information. But the management, <laughs> <laughs> the management at Mercury, I knew there were some, really did. <laughs> some, some, some issues yeah. and we all know the management at Mercury then. Um, no, Sean thought it was hilarious. I spoke to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and I'm not saying it's Sean, but <laughs> I know exactly the whole situation. And like, as soon as that song came out, I was like, I totally knew who the song was pointed towards and what the message was, like what it I mean, was behind it. And I was I like, mean, the I song's laugh. got the line in, hey, Sean, man, why yeah. can't we play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually so it's actually said not it. that subtle, yeah. <laughs> you like literally said it. It wasn't <laughs> even discreet. Yeah. <laughs> discreet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, you know what, in, in, in the history of Half Price, we've, and look, largely, we're a very discreet band. No, no, but largely, <laughs> largely to our own doing, we've had to face these rebuttals, and we've survived them. Like, <laughs> so in disbelief it, against all odds, yeah, survived. I mean, no, 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 look, like, don't get me wrong. Like, we we've, we've done some stupid shit stuff that we regret, stuff that we're like not proud of, but we. We're still here to take the punches. We, we're still here to. It's to punk rock, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Mark isn't look, proud I mean, of it all. I'm not proud of everything, but <laughs> yeah. I don't regret anything. Yeah, no, exactly. That he's <laughs> just he's just said it right there. It's like, you know, in 17 years, you're bound to do some stupid shit, and we fucking excelled in that. <laughs> you know? But but at the same time, you know, you learn from your mistakes. You you do what you do, and we still play good punk rock. So yeah, for sure. There Carl, when did you grow that fat part? Uh, when did you decide? In like to literally eat? in the last month. <laughs> did, does it grow that quickly, bro? Uh, fuck, you have no idea, dude. <laughs> I wish. Actually, no. Like call gray says, wolf, yeah, you're showing your age, and I'm like, no, it's my wisdom. <laughs> That's what's, it's actually just how badly I operated in my 20s. It's not showing my 30s. But anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope you're no. cutting this out. No, no, not at all, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, yes, I've got a grey beard, and they call me grey man right now. Grey man. Grey man. Grey man. Oh, okay, no, okay, not grey man. Grey man. Grey man. Like yeah, a man. Yeah, yeah. like we actually call him grey wolf. It's funny because it does yeah, like actually that. result in grey man. <laughs> I thought you said Grey Mane That's just an imposter <laughs> Oli shut up <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He's an imposter He's an imposter Where's my uncle <laughs> <laughs> Alright let's, let's end this one off boys I wanted to tell you a funny story about okay, being well, naked let, But I won't okay, no, no, Hit me hit me hit me So yeah. I went to watch Folk of Police Car the other day Okay, I hit him And you. some uh, lady came up to me and said Hey dude I'm sitting there with my I'm walking, standing there next to my wife, and she like basically comes and says, "Hey, dude, I saw you naked," <laughs> and I'm just like, well, "You what?" <laughs> it's just, yeah, at Weinberg Sports Club. I was like, "Okay, cool." Yeah. <laughs> God, don't worry oh, about that. Explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Jeez, guys, this has been jam packed. This is so much fun. I want to keep it going, but shit, we've got it. We got some drinking to do. I think that's the last time because we wanted to keep it going. We kept it going for too long. Yeah, wait, 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 the, the last one. The wait, wait, last year. Two hours, six minutes. Yeah, yeah, too much, too much, yeah, too way much. too much. But you should too watch much. it after you finished watching Absolutely. this because it's I'll, I'll link it in the description. Yeah, I'll link it in the description. Yeah. I love <laughs> description. <laughs> I love description. Then you but, can hear um, the whole history of the band. Yeah, I love Dude, band. We went, we went deep, eh? Yeah, we went, we I went very deep. deep. 
But um, <laughs> I'm going to give Carl such a puss club when this is over. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Carl's breaking. It is deserved, actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, it makes it all that much fun. But this is half price. That is Marcus. That is Carl. That's Oliver. It's been real, G. Thank you. From <laughs> Bullet Script and Alive at Midnight. And we've got Granny J, Jared Ronnenberg, who is my partner in crime. Yeah. This is Papa G's house. This is half price. Until then, we say peace. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> nice. That's where we're going.